Tonight, call it the moving trip from hell. A family moving here from Arizona, but the company that moved them and stored all their belongings went out of business. And the firm that took possession of the furniture refused to give it back without ransom. To the rescue, Nina Pereira and Seven on your side. This would be my daughter's room. We brought up some toys. We sit on the floor sometimes. Every room of the Barber family's East Islip home is bare. This is about memories, pictures of our children. I right. mean, videos. Yeah, everything. You know? I mean, everything we have, our whole, everything we have is in there. The family of four moved from Phoenix, Arizona last summer, hiring a small California company they found on the Internet called Swift Moving and Storage. They had the movers store their goods until October when their house was ready. What happened was the company went bankrupt and they gave all our furniture to another company um, without letting us know. It took months, but Tina tracked down the other company, Sovereign, that was holding her goods. But there was a catch. He says he wouldn't bring anything unless we paid him an additional $12,000 which was, uh, it's just crazy. Tired of living with two kids in one room in the basement, they called Seven on Your Side for help. Where is your furniture? Where's all your stuff? Supposedly, it's in Hackensack, New Jersey, in a warehouse. So we went to Hackensack, but no one at Sovereign's office would talk on camera. Over the phone, we got the owner to slash the price in half, still more than six grand. Some compensation is fair, but the, the amount that they're entitled to is going to depend on the paperwork. We got the head of New Jersey's Movers Association involved, who called Sovereign directly. You're not entitled to charge her for that additional period of time. You know that. Sovereign never produced an agreement between them and the original mover, a violation of federal regulations. Last week, a federal investigator paid Sovereign a visit and got the barber's bill pared down again to just 2000 And we were there when George went to East Rutherford to retrieve his family's life. But bad news. Everything is damaged. Everything was neglected from water damage or just thrown and everything's just busted and ruined. What was most important somehow survived. The yeah. memories, the memories, I really, I just couldn't, I couldn't imagine going through my whole life without being able to show the kids what they look like. I thank you. I mean, it, it was, it was the presence, like I said, of having you with us that made this come you know, to an end. Even though the original company went out of business, we found out they still have insurance. So the Barber family is going to try to pursue a claim through the insurance company and hope some of this will be covered. In East Islip, Nina Pineda, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.